Hello there, I'm gonna show you how you can make custom blocks in StarMade. First, find the StarMade folder. Then we enter data, config, and you right click block config and take edit. This text file will show you all the information about all the blocks in the game. We will first begin with uh, finding the block we want to use as a ground. Hmm, let's see, I can use... I'm gonna use the yellow hull block. That block begins at the, this row and ends at here. But we want the wedge as well, so we're gonna take it down here. And we want the corner as well, so we're gonna take it down there. Then we copy. Then we want to find the end of the hull section in the shop menu. So we're going to type docking, which is the next section. And before this row, we're going to paste the what, that which we have copied. And I'm just going to split the different blocks up like this, so it's easier to see. Right, so this here is the nor normal uh, block, this is the wedge, and this is the corner. We're gonna name the block um, Tralalalal Hull. We're gonna name this one uh, This one will be the same. Then we're gonna put the price, shop price, at um, 10 million. For this one, we're gonna put uh, 500,000. And for this one, we're, we're gonna put uh, 100. Then we're going to change the description. We can start with uh, removing all the current. Then you go down to another block and copy this little bit. So, description works like this. You can type anything here. Then if you want to go down one row in the game, descri description, type that, uh, that which we just uh, copied. If you want to go down two rows, you paste it again. And if you want to go down one row again, you paste it again. Then you can change the mass if you want. You can uh, change really a lot of things. Normally I just change the price, the armor. Let's put almost to 90. And uh, hit points, which is the life of the block. So currently, if you do 100 da damage on the block, it will be destroyed. We're gonna put this at... Let's see... <laughs> Forty. Then in receipt, you can put this to false. False means that uh, the block won't be uh, available in uh, receipt in the game. True means that it will. 
So after that we can change the same thing on the other two blocks. And you can uh, copy paste the description to the other two as well. Next, we need to create a new type because if the game sees two identical uh, types, the game won't uh, start the server. So we, we're gonna need to enter this file block types. In this text file you will see all the IDs for all the blocks in the game. At the end here you will see my custom blocks. So we're just gonna continue at uh, the next ID number. And I typed like that, so you can see that it doesn't really matter what you type, just as long as you copy this into here. Do the same to the other two. Because in this file, the block need to, needs to be connected to on uh, block type, which has its own uh, ID. So after that is fixed, we can just save, then remove the spaces. And uh, save here too, as well. So let's start the game. Looks like my game crashed, but I'm just gonna start it again. So let's see, this, is, this here is the shop. And as you can see, the new blocks are at the end of the row. Anything, two rows down, one row down. So let's try out the new blocks. For first we're gonna refill the shop. Then we're gonna buy.
as you can see, my uh, cannons are at 98 damage. Yeah, 94. So let's find out if the armor worked. Yep, it did. 